Hey, party people, and welcome back to MVM. And today, I'm here with some preview coverage for Ironwood. This is by Mind Clash Games. This is their newest crowdfunding game. It is in that line of like Astra, uh, uh, Septima. So this, these are kind of like their lighter games, but of course, Mind Clash doesn't make light light games so i'm always interested in covering these i always cover them on the channel of course you've seen some of our previous coverage i'm here to show you what this game is like uh, hopefully it helps you make an informed decision on whether you want to back the game or not but i can't tell you what to do with your money i will not do that uh, so let me go ahead and show you how to play this game this is a two-player asymmetric game so the the, both sides have different abilities. You're going to be playing cards on your turn, trying to fulfill different uh, things to kind of work your way up to the win condition. You can play this game solo. I should let you know that, but this is typically a two player game. You're going to be playing as two different factions. Here they are. You have the ironclad, which are going around trying to mine these crystals with their, with their drill over here. All right. And then they're trying to get these crystals so they can build these uh, foundations and then turn them into uh, forges. Now, if they turn them into forges, it gives them a couple of little advantages, but it's also one of the win it is the winning condition. If they build three of them, they win the game. They have to build them on the outer areas. This is where they, the pieces go. Uh, so that's kind of what they need to do. Um, so they're trying to go around and get these uh, get the crystal resources as best as possible. Don't worry. We want to let it fly over here. We have the Woodwalkers. So the Woodwalkers are trying to basically defend their force. They're trying to raise the spirit. And if they do uh, get three of these totems out here and they move them uh, to the outside here, they will add them to your board. If they build three of those, they win the game. So they're trying to do, they're trying to protect their force. They must, must protect this house. Let's say that must protect this house. You remember that commercial? We must protect this house. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So. They're going to also have these vision cards that will tell them uh, different areas where they're going to be trying to build, um, trying to get those totems and get them out of there before they fade. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when I say fading. Uh, so what are we doing in this game? What are we doing on our turns? Um, I should also say a lay of the land. You have the outside here where the woodwalkers would be. This is like the thick forest. There will be no battles out there. This is where... Um, they will try to push this stuff out here so they can put it on their board. And th there'll be no battles out here. Whether we're shooting at them, we won't fight them out there. We'll be fighting on the inner territories uh, of the game. But speaking of the inner, uh, speaking of the inner, you'll have only the the woodwalkers will be moving through the forest areas and only the ironclad will be moving through the mountainous areas. So when you see movement, you'll never see the ironclad go into um, here. Battles will take place. This is kind of a, this would be adjacent when they actually battle out just to give you an idea of where things would go. Even this drill, this drill's not going to go inside of here or anything like that. So we're trying to build as best as possible. So let's just go ahead and dig in. Now, what is this game? What are you doing? You're going to be playing one card on your turn. You'll be playing three cards per round. And during that, during that round, you are setting yourself up for battle. You're moving your troops all around uh, and basically trying to get your mission done. And we're also not letting other people do what they need to do. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in around so you get an idea of what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a preparation phase, which we get two crystals over here for the ironclad and one over here for the uh, woodwalkers here. Uh, that one of the things that separates it from uh, from each other. Now, before I draw my cards, I want you to know about the three cards you start out with. There are three base cards in the game. When you play cards and you clean them up at the end of the round, when there's the round end phase, you will always bring these cards back to your hand. That would be a combination of these special cards and these cards, but the special cards will be discarded. And I have the discard areas over here on the side. I'm trying to condense this down. So you'll always play a card on your turn and we'll alternate playing cards. But these special cards, I mean, your cards, these ones that have the star on them, they will always come back to you. All right. So I got my two crystals. I draw two cards. I don't know what they are. They're special to me. They're special to 
the woodwalkers over here. I'm the only person here when I say me. All right, so here we go. Next up is remove markers. Sometimes you will have cards that are ongoing. The ongoing cards will go up here, they'll have markers on them, and this is the point when they come off. Some of them will actually give you abilities and things when they come off. They'll help you in battle, they'll help you gather resources, they'll help you put things out. That's what the advantage of them are. So you want to keep them out. You can have as many as you want. Uh, and this one says it has a mark on it. When I remove one from this card, it says recruit a golem. Okay. These golems here will, are another one of the units that the ironclad has. They are really buff. They take more damage. They add to the combat. I'm just going to put one right here with these, uh, with these folks out here. It says, uh, put them out there to any, I'm going to go ahead. I have to put it at any one of these here. So I'm going to put it at one of those. And then it says draw a card. So now I have more cards in my hand. I'm going to scoop those up. I don't know what they are because I don't make up all the scenarios. Sometimes I just make the stuff up and see what happens. <laughs> and then we have our draw uh, two cards over here. I don't have anything over here. So this is going to come off. All right, and this is going to be discarded. I'm just going to put it over here. And now we play our actions. We will alternate playing cards. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get our missions done. Once again, we're trying to get our three, uh, our three ironclads, I mean, our three forges out there. So what am I going to do? I am actually going to play one of my base cards, and I'm going to show you a couple things while I do so. When I play a card, there's a couple things that are on, on here. They have battle stats on the side, so on the side they have some battle things that will contribute to it, or you can use the card for its ability. Sometimes it will have straightforward stuff, you have to resolve it from top to bottom, uh, and you can decline certain parts of this uh, as long as, as you go along down to the bottom. Maybe you don't want to attack this turn, maybe you don't want to move, you just want to attack different things like that. You can also neglect to pay a card, you know, to play a card, and then you just get one of your special cards. You can only have a total of eight cards uh, in your hand at any one time. I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing some moving. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start playing around here. We're gonna resolve two of these. I'm gonna move my drill, okay? So I'm gonna move my drill. I'm actually gonna move my drill. Uh, I'm gonna move my drill this way. Uh, I'm going to move it that way. I want it to be protected. And you want the ironclad, you need to protect that drill. It does not fight back. Uh, you can attack that drill as the woodwalkers and take it back, get a crystal for it. So you really want to make sure that you're protecting this thing with troops. So I'm going to do that one. It says first move, uh, move this here. Now when I move, I have a little drill track here. And what it's going to do is it's going to gather crystals for me uh, to start the game off. So it's going to, I mean, it's to start this off. As I move to the track, it's going to keep giving me benefits as I move along. So you definitely want to move this thing over. Now notice I have it over here and not over here with all these awesome crystals over here. Uh, I probably gave myself too many, but that's fine. And then I have, uh, we're going to put these over here. When I take them back, which means I have to get it all the way back to one of these forges here, and I get it all the way back, I can dump those over here. So I definitely want to make sure that I am close enough to these forges. I want to build them as well. So that's what I'm going to do right there. Then it says place, uh, place a foundation on an outer that you control. I control things if I have people present. So if I have soldiers present, that means that I can place a foundation there. So I can place foundation here if I control that area. I'm going to do that, but it says an outer one. So I'm going to put it right here where there's an outer area. Remember, the outer areas are these ones out here where I can place these. You notice how I tried to place that there and there's no outline. You want to put it out here. That's what the card says. And that will be my turn, okay? Now, in response to that, the woodwalker, the woodwalker wants to start moving people around, but I'm looking at uh, some of these internal areas here, and I have this card here. I want to discover, I want to have what's called a vision. I want to, I want to use these cards to do something called discover. All right. So in order to discover, I have to win some combat. So let me move some troops around so I can make sure that I can do that. I'm going to move, uh, let's see, I'm going to move here. I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to move and attack. I'm going to move too. Now, movement is different to pace on, uh, depending on the icon. You can move a fighter, and you can only move once, that, 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 I, that person once. 
or you could move what's called a war band, which means a group a group will move together and that can go all the way down to one, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move one here and one here, okay? You can see I'm putting on the full court press here in this area, all right? Now it says I can attack. Attacking is really interesting in this game simply because it becomes a, a, a game of sacrifice, defense and sacrifice. So the best way to describe it is, is one, I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get to this area because I want to have a vision in this area. There's an important part I want to discover right here, and then I'll be able to place one of my guys here. So I'll, I'll get to that in a second. We'll put this card down here before I forget that I am battling. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to decide whether I want to play a card as the ironclad player. I can decide not to and just let it play out. All right but maybe I want to defend a little bit. Maybe I want to do at least this card, all right? So I play that card. I don't even know what the results are gonna be. I'm just playing a card. I'm going to do, um, let's see. I'm gonna do this one here, all right? So we're gonna do that one. All right, so we flip both of our cards over. We have our Battle Cry, and then we have our heavy infantry. Now we are in a battle. And what we're gonna do is take the card now, we're using the card specifically for it, its uh, battle conditions. You have an attack, you have defense, and then you have a thing called dominance. We'll get to that. That's what makes combat very interesting, okay? So now we're gonna look at our attack and our defense. Our attack here for the ironclad is one here, and I have no defense, so that's gonna take out one of these guys. I have two attack over here, uh, two attack over here, and two defense. So these guys aren't going anywhere, okay? And notice how they're adjacent. This is the mountains fighting against the woods. They have to be adjacent to each other in that way. Now, since we've dealt with the, the combat, and this can be done simultaneously, so you're making sure you're attacking your defenses are, are, are working out. I should also note that this Golem right here can come in there. It's got two defense, it contributes to combat as well. And if we are attacking a forge, if, you, if it's a forge, not a foundation, it will help with combat and attack, attack as well. So just so you get an idea of how that goes. Definitely wanna make sure this stuff is reinforced with having troops at all times, just for the sake of trying to win some combat. Now we're gonna look at what's called dominance. We will look at the remaining troops plus what's on our card plus something that may be going on here. Maybe we have some extra stuff right here. Maybe we have some text on the card. I'm gonna talk about this. It says, if the attacking troop has less, the attacking warband has less units than the defending warband, all right, I get plus one to all my stuff. I don't, I have more. They don't have a card that has any effects on it as well. So what we're gonna do is add the dominance. Two, two plus the remaining troops, which is four. And then I have four remaining troops plus three, which is seven. So what that means is, is basically we just dominated the heck out of these guys. And what we can do is force them away one adjacent spot. So I'm just gonna kick them to the curb, I'm gonna kick them over here. And then these cards will go to the discard piles. Um, they're not ongoing cards or anything like that. All right, and that is how our battle resolve. We go back to um, our Iron Current player, and I am just gonna do, hmm. I'm gonna start to move my guys out here just cause I don't wanna get pushed around. It says that I can draw one card, okay? And then it says resolve one or spend two to resolve two. I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve one and it says move one warband. I am going to move that one warband. I'm just gonna move a group of guys. I'm gonna move them over here. I'm not gonna leave that guy. Actually, I'm gonna leave this guy right here. I'm gonna move a warband. I'm gonna move two guys over there. So that would move a, a group of people over. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna leave this whole group over. I'm gonna dominate this area over here so I can get my own stuff. I got myself spread out a little bit here, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna move the whole war band. All right, that's my turn on that, on that card. And as you can see, there's multiple layers to a card. Um, but now that I have some area here and I have this lithomar to myself, I can do what's called a vision. So what you have to do is have someone, uh, have a card from the vision deck and there are cards that get you more vision cards. Uh, interestingly enough, I should say, if you move the ironclad far enough, they can actually get a peek at your deck. So strategically, you wanna keep moving your drill so that you can get to the point where that would 
happen in the game. Uh, there's a lot of pressure applied, and this game isn't that long. It's like 45, 60 minutes. So there's going to be a lot of battling. There's going to be a lot of you know strategy and just getting on the fly and getting where you need to go as fast as possible because nothing is guaranteed. I'm going to show you that in a second. All right. So what we're going to do uh, is I'm going to try to get adjacent to the spot, which I am at the Lithmar place. All right. I have my guys there. I have a card that I'm going to play and there is nobody there to fight me. That's why I fought those guys and pushed them over there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is play this card. It says I can visions. It says I can draw a card and I'm going to do that. Resolve one. It says discover. Well, I have discovered this. Uh, I discovered the spot. It's plays you here. So what will happen is, is I take this. All right, so now I have this and it's going to be with me. That guy is carrying that. I'm going to put this over here. Um, you're supposed to put it off to the side, stack those up or whatnot. Now what happens is they're carrying this. This is not the end of it, though. They got to get it out of here. OK, so through a series of turns, what would happen is, is let's say this war band of people would move this or this fighter would move this. Let's say somebody was here and then they pass it off to this person here and it would go out. They would put this out here and fulfill one of their conditions. OK, so we're playing in a fake world. You can pass these things along as you move, but you're eventually trying to get it out of here. And that's what happens in this one. Now we're going to play this out a little bit here and we're going to do um, we're going to do we're going to do this one here resolve reinforcements so what they're going to do is resolve one one of the and these are I played all three of my special cards on this one because I set up the scenario so you can see that. Uh, I'm going to spend it on here to build five. So I have to use five of the crystals and that's what you're really trying to do is mine the heck out of this place so you can get what you need. I pay five of my resources and then what I get to do is if I'm by a place here, I can build and I can build one of these forges here. So now I have two of them already and now I've built the forge. Fill two, I need to build that third. So the wood, the woodland folks, I mean, wood walkers are going to have to get out there to prevent this from happening. But meanwhile, the ironclad are right there and they could, as soon as next round, fight back to take them out. But that gives you the general gist of what a, what a turn is like. I'm just going to play a card here. Um, and like I said, some of these cards may have a mark on here, uh, different things. Uh, you can attack. You can even attack certain things. Like you can attack this drill if it's by itself. Uh, taking the drill out will give you, it'll move it back to here. And it also will give you a crystal. Um, by the way, I, I just got this here, Lithamar. It gives me three crystals. So let me go ahead and put them three crystals there. All right. It's very important that I have crystals as well for, as the woodwalker because we're about to get to that. All right. Now we're at the end round phase. And I'm just going to show you how this plays out because now we're just cleaning things up. But there's some tricky stuff and opportunities as well to do some interesting things. Now, what we're going to do is look at the cards that we have. I have my three base cards and I know that because the star is there. I'm going to go ahead and wash those back into my hand. Uh, you will never get rid of those cards they will always come back to your hand. So the strategy of them, because they actually give you the most of the stuff you're trying to do, you're always going to have them in your hand. Any special cards like this one right here that does not have that icon will go to the discard pile. These will return to your hand. You'll always have those three cards in your hand. Now, you have to discard down to eight cards. You may have a lot of extra cards because you, you, you have cards that help you draw cards. All right. So or you didn't play a card during your turn. So you get one. So you got to pay attention to that. You don't want to have your, your, your hand too full. Uh, but that does give you more battle options, I should say. Now we're going to get to a special part here for um, the woodwalkers. And I put this token back out here just to assume like this was uh, not played out. What happens is, is this fades one step. All right. So you have two turns basically to get this thing out of here. So if we don't get it out here by next turn, we have a problem. So we may want to move with this one here. And then the next round, we want to move with, with the other guy there because we need to get this thing moving out in order to win the game. Otherwise, this just fades and goes away. And then you got to start the process over. So it's, it's really, really straightforward for this one here, but it has its own second step. But this one here is a lot more risky. Got to get it out of there. And then finally, we can recruit. So when we recruit, uh, we can pay these two crystals. And this is why crystals are important for the ironclad. They want to build, but they also want to get uh, 
troops and you can build one of these golems out here and golems have two two defense so they can take more attacks and they also add to the damage as well uh, and then over here this is a, another interesting part so the crystals are just as important for the wind walkers they will get more troops so they can get more of these fighters they can get them out here on the outer areas only the outer areas nowhere inside of here can they join and stuff like that but you spend those crystals and they can go on the outside and that's the game of iron wood uh, you have a really smart asymmetric card game here. You can't be too aggressive, but you got to get what you need to get done. You want to play defense as best as possible, but you don't want to just lay down uh, too many battles or sit and wait. And that's where this game becomes interesting. The card play is really smart. The the strategy from turn to turn changes up. It keeps it interesting past several plays. And all I can tell you is, is that this is a this will likely be another um, you know favorite for people who like very intense head-to-head -head card balance type games. This is very aggressive in a sense to me, uh, and it it didn't lose its luster as fun. Uh, after a several plays. So that's a good thing for me. Um, hopefully I don't have to give this prototype back. <laughs> All right, so just hopefully I don't get to give this prototype back. Of course, it's not in its final form, but I'll wait. I want it. I want to keep it, uh, if that says anything. But hopefully I helped you make an informed back decision because I can't tell you what to do with your money. Hopefully I informed you on how the game plays. You make that final choice. I don't tell you to just buy something. Uh, there's a, probably a lot of information and a rule book out there. Uh, if you want to take a look at the solo, take a look at Mike Kelly, Never Board Game, and Mark Dainty. If you want a different uh, description of the game, you can always go to Before Your Play. Mon Monique does it nice, clean, and clear. I do it more in the gameplay sense. You can take a look at every one of these. Hopefully it helps you make an informed back decision. With that, party people, you take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me on MV MVM. Like, subscribe if you choose to. Otherwise, thank you for at least checking out our video. All right, party people, you take care. Have a wonderful day.